whenever we are talking about computer science one important aspects which come is problem solving so what we are trying to do here is we are just trying to highlight certain facts and certain ways to achieve this problem solving so the objective will be uh, we'll talk about program development cycle and then programming tools so there are basically three uh, levels you can say uh, of programming languages first of all machine language as computer science or electronics behind it they it understand only zero and one so there is machine language only zero one one zero then we have assembly language intermediary and then high level language high level language is the language which is understood by me you uh, as we talk in english so this is what uh, that language that computer understand and we understand so it is somewhat uh, in between and we can write it easily in english form okay so what is the uh, machine language uh, the fundamental language of the computer processor or also called as lower level language all programs are converted into machine language this is very important every program whether you know c c plus plus java c sharp any language it has to be computed and converted into your machine language so all programs are converted into machine language before they can be executed and it consists of combinations of zeros and ones you know it's all voltages zeros and ones that represent high and low electrical voltage so a low level language that is similar to machine language this is assembly language it uses symbolic operation code to represent the machine operation code then we come to high level languages these are computer or programming languages that are easier to learn uh, it uses english like statements examples as i already mentioned it there are c++ visual basic pascal fortran and c c sharp java you know to name a few so what is a program development life cycle if you are given a program okay i assign you a program how you are going to go ahead with it for solving it so first we need to define the problem what is the problem okay until and unless the goal is set or the problem is understood we're not going to solve it easily then the design we need to uh, plan the solution to the problem every problem may have many solutions okay many solutions you need to find a solution that suits that is uh, smallest that is quickest that is uh, efficient you know all those things we need to understand and uh, this is what design is all about we need to plan uh, that will give you or you know the program that will be made will be what user or anybody who has signed you will appreciate now choosing the interface that is we need to select the objects uh, objects comes in uh, various phases it specifically depends on your computer science uh, language and programming because if you are working with procedural or structural you need to do something else while you are working or dealing with object oriented programming then you have to deal with some other thing then coding now once you have made the algorithm algorithm is what you can directly it's a it's it's like an ingredient you know if you're making uh, some food those ingredients ingredients can be uh, can be combination of vegetables can be rice can be wheat so all these things needs to be in front of you so that you can make a food and the food which i'm talking about is the program so translate the algorithm into a programming language then debugging test okay once you have made the program nobody uh, guarantees that that program is correct even if you say i am correct uh, you need to check it once maybe you might be correct that the program is uh, accurate if you write uh, four lines if you wrote six lines but what about 6000 lines so 6 lakhs lines then you need to use some debugging and testing and this testing is the important uh, phase or uh, important you know you can set terminal point of your program and complete the documentation now i am making a program i need to give it to somebody he needs to uh, make it understand to someone else maybe some different person uh, across the continent how are you going to achieve that i may not be able to uh, tell you all of the things if uh, you ask me tomorrow 
or maybe after 10 days so you need to document it and this documentation is very easy it has to go hand in hand along with what you are doing uh, in earlier five phases you need to organize all the materials and describe the program so what programming tools are you having you have been provided with what all things what computer science people or uh, eminent people have uh, developed uh, up till now <laughs> these are flowchart these are pseudocode these are structure chart uh, we have uml also people are using uml um, you know um, immensely so let's start with what is flowchart this is a logic diagram to describe each step that the program has performed to arrive at the solution because most of the bugs most of the problem you will uh, find here only and you you will be able to you know um, uh, remove them and uh, get a better solution then popular logic used for uh, showing an algorithm in graphics form now i say what you make program i can make it uh, in a, another way you can make a program uh, through if else and somebody may come up with switch case you know that so different things uh, which can be used so what is the popular logic tool uh, you need to choose then programmer prepares flowchart before coding and most common flowchart symbols are this now I need to uh, emphasize one thing that most of our pro programmer whenever they are assigned a problem or a software they just jump on a computer and open it open the interface and then start coding and see okay we'll find out the pro problems later this is i'm saying and uh, you um, whoever is hearing you know keep your hand in your heart uh, on your heart and just say and just remember and prove me wrong if you have not done this if you have not uh, gone to straight away c c plus plus interface or c sharp interface start coding have uh, these things are not been done by most of the people though they they are supposed to learn and practice in their uh, you know m this uh, programming uh, paradigm so these are all which you need to use i request that this will make your program making more easier enjoyable and this is uh, the purpose of flowchart which you may be lacking this is an aid in developing the logic of and program verification uh, that all possible conditions have been considered in a program it provides means of communication with other about that program and a guide in coding the program also nonetheless documentation for the program this is one of the example of the program this uh, this is how we start and end this is the symbol we use and uh, this initialization is done through square or rectangle the initialize counter equal to one and sum is equal to zero then are there more data no here we go here yeah. and if yes we go here j get next grade increment counter add grade to sum then again go back so this is how we g get a visual picture that okay this program is something like this and i'm going to uh, code this first this first this first then check for conditions here we, i have to use some conditional tools here i have to use some initialization then uh, again at that point uh, i need to break if some condition is met or not then just checking the process of testing the flowchart with different data as input and checking the output what is ought to be given can be given but what is not ought to be given if you give it and the program runs successfully means even if it fails it fails t uh, gracefully then you have achieved the success so the test data should uh, include non-standard data as well as the typical data and now coming to pseudo code a code which is pseudo that means a program design technique that uses english words that has no formal syntactic rules if you are um, unaware of flowchart or if you don't want to go to uml you can use pseudo code for example the same uh, you know flowchart which we just discussed can be written in pseudo code like this to determine the average grade of a class do while there are more data get the next grade add the grade to the sum increment the counter loop computer average is equal to sum by counter display average you know most of you might not be aware of mm. this basic language basic i'm not saying the basic language it was the language termed as basic when uh, it was around 15 20 years back so this was uh, the basic uh, syntax whatever you give it does 
this is the pseudocode type of thing and uh, if we talk about hierarchy chart it shows the uh, overall program structure describe what each part or module of the program does and also how each module relates to other modules in the program so this is the hierarchy chart class over program this uh, has get grade then compute sum calculate average and display this is one of uh, uh, um, you know a way to understand the program which are you going to make so thank you so much hope uh, even if uh, one of my line have uh, you know some impact on your programming this presentation i will suppose it to be a success thank you so much take care of yourself